Women at the Cross. Women at the Cross. It's time. It's time, sister. Can you believe this is number seven? I cannot believe it's number seven. Number seven, and sister, you've been here <laughs> for every single one. I know you're my ride or die. Oh my God. You know what is so funny about it? The people are just as excited as this yeah. if it was the first one. Absolutely. I can't believe it. I can be out and I'll see people and they say, I come to Women at the Cross. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, great. And it has become, um, a, a time for a gathering. Yeah. We have families that come, they load up vans and they drive in for Women at the Cross. And it has become a yearly pilgrimage yeah, for yeah. so many women. And um, it's, it's just been a total blessing. So the crazy thing about it is the way we started seven years ago, I was thinking, we were getting ready uh, in preparation for Easter, and I was wondering what could the women do for us right. leading up to Easter? What can the women do? Because we prepare everything. We got dinner on our mind. We got outfits on our Absolutely. minds. We got hair. You know, all of the preparation right. things. Especially those of us with girls, right? Come on, Mary do and you Martha. Remember? We doing all the preparation. And I said, can we just get ready? Yeah. And spiritually. Then, spiritually. Yeah. And I knew that the men always had seven last words. But there was not a seven last words. Never. Where all the speakers were female. In Chicago. And in Chicago. I guess that's one of, one of, one of your major traits. And I'm not just saying this because I'm your sister for life. But one of your major traits, Jamel Meeks, is that you're a visionary. You could just take something simple and make, how do you turn a Good Friday service into a women's conference? <laughs> Yet you've done it. And they, they load my Facebook page, Girl. all social media. Are you coming? Are you coming? Yes. And, and it's still so intense. So, yeah, I, I, bow my, I bow my hat to you, sister. You're a bad girl. I thank the Lord <laughs> because, you know, we sing it all the time. If you can use anything, Lord, you use can use me. Use me, right? <laughs> so it's amazing. Um, one of the things that's so amazing to me, even now as we look at 2019, the average church in America, you do not hear, listen, a woman's voice except for solos. Wow. And the right. average worship service in every church across America, regardless, the own, of, denomination. regardless of denomination, the only yeah. time you hear a woman's voice is going to be a solo and perhaps announcement. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. So in the congregation is 90% female, yet we're excluded from the pulpit. So, sister, on Good Friday, yeah. we open that thing up. And I think that it's really great. I wanted to ask you a question. I want to know how you decided you've had such a great balance of women. Mm -hmm. There is something for everybody at Women yeah. at the Cross. That's what I love. From, from the younger woman to the creative mind, holla at baby sister, right? All right. All right. <laughs> you know, to the intellect, you know, yes. like Alexis Felder. You yes. have something for everyone how did you create that balance I mean how did you know so I didn't know everybody's gifting but God did yeah and because he was going to be glorified in it he put it all together right that and that's one of the hallmarks actually of women at the cross is that you will hear from women from all different walks of life yeah different perspectives different seasons different seasons absolutely but especially different preaching styles yeah and so so many of our young women can feel empowered by that because they don't have to be like someone else or feel inadequate in their delivering of the message that god has given them and certainly that's been a blessing i i totally agree and i think that this is a pillar if you will a jump start probably is a better term for young women that, that have a gift and it's not necessarily standing behind the pulpit, but but they can say, yeah, I can do that or Absolutely. I can. So I, I, I think it's a blessing all across. It takes me back to our FWO days. Oh my gosh, FWO, four women, women only. only. <laughs> oh my, that's when I met Claudette Copeland. Yes, <laughs> yes, It yes. takes me back to those yes, days. And, yes. 
and it's been real it's been a real you know another thing that's good about women at the cross we're here from yeah. what noon to three o'clock three thirty yes. ish mm-hmm. i don't feel it right do you feel it no maybe it, yeah. it moves so quickly and because it takes you on a journey it does so we've actually had things um the first two years we actually did the seven last words and then we kind of deviated a little bit one year we did women that jesus met on his way to the cross yes girl i was married to magdalene (laughs) (laughs) amazing amazing and then we did mothers and daughters right and all the speakers were mothers and daughters an absolutely phenomenal uh women at the cross event and then this year we're focusing on relationships wow. and women and our relationship to the cross and and if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ you don't even know how the cross affects your relationship totally affects and it. so we are so excited to share that and to open that up to women uh, this year so good friday april the 19th 12 o'clock noon right here at the house of hope we are going to explore women and our relationship with the cross you know the cross and jesus set us free from so much that we don't even understand uh, the things that women went through when Jesus came, he broke so many barriers, barriers yeah. so many barriers. I got a new, I got a new foundness for Mary, Jesus's mm-hmm. mother. Yes. Now, how can my mom, who's buried um, two children, mm. she told me the second, the second child she buried, she didn't even get out the limo. She stayed mm. in the limo. She said, I cannot see another kid go in the ground yeah. and uh, an old nun an old nun at mercy hospital took my wow. mother to the side when my brother was in hospice and she said i want you to think about mary mm. and she's and she started walking my mother through that's why i don't believe in denominations um uh-huh. that's another topic <laughs> maybe we'll do that another year right. but anyway <laughs> she told my mom how everything Mary, jesus did if you would study the word she pondered it in her heart. That's Remember true. when he was hanging out with Absolutely. the doctors? The Bible says she just pondered it in her heart. Absolutely. And then when he, when she got to the cross, all the stuff that she had pondered in her that heart was, was what kept her yes. from losing yes. her mind. Jamel wow. at the cross. That's so amazing. She just so I am I am so excited about relationships. I think that you spark um, thinking. Yeah. We 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 get one element. They beat right. them, right. you know, 30 stripes or whatever, yep. you know, one. save one, right. I forgot about that one. Stripes, but, but, but we don't, un- but we forget the fact this, I think this year mm-hmm. we're going to open up to figure out God did all of this. He sent his son so that I can have relationships in every area of my life. Absolutely. What is it? Sibling? Yes. Uh, uh, son. Son. Our relationship as him as our substitute. Our substitute. And Jesus became our substitute and um, he's our savior. And all of those relationships Mm -hmm. and understanding that this creates the entire woman. The whole woman. And this is how we become whole and how we're able to have relationship. I'm able to have relationship with you as my sister. I'm able to have relationship with my children. I'm able to have relationship with my husband, with my parents. All of these relationships were sealed and done at the cross. The women who were at the foot of the cross had relationship issues settled because of their relationship with with the one who was on the cross. Oh! That is I major. Can't wait. For real. It's, Absolutely. Yeah, you, even, even like when we go back to the hymns, yes. you know, at Calvary. Yes. If we would just think about the stuff yes. that he developed at the cross. Absolutely. So I am I am so excited. Absolutely. You know, I always uh, give you such a hard time, Jamel. I apologize. <laughs> Every year my husband says, Lisa, please don't drive Jamel crazy this year. And I was like, why don't you save your breath? You know that I am. But but the thing the, the things that I get from the other women, mm-hmm. what I love about it in yeah. being in the speaker capacity in all the years, I felt like we were boosting each other. Yes. We, we wanted, yes. oh, come on girl, you can do this. Yes. You know, can't wait to see what, what this one is gonna do. Yes. It's, it's, not, it's not a- It's not a competition. It's so not a competition. It's not a competition. And, and, I can, and no one is trying to out 
preach the other one and no one is trying to show no. and and i think women feel that and they get that they get it from the the uh the event and also women get and understand that i don't have to compete with you i'm good right just here just be yourself be yourself the authentic you is the is better than any copy can nobody be being lisa ballard to lisa ballard nobody, right nobody. yeah nobody. so i think that's that's really important and i i get the energy in the room from the very from the very you got to be here on time let me tell you why because jesus <laughs> is coming down the aisle you got to see him yes. hanging on the cross and it's and it's almost like you're at calvary with the lord yes. and and i i think everybody should get here get so they can get a seat absolutely and see everything because yes. they can't miss a minute it's not yes. a waste of time and you have to you cannot have easter sunday morning without Good Friday. Can't have it, and so we can't rush up in church on Easter Sunday and expect to have a resurrection in our hearts and in our lives, and we haven't gone through Good Friday. Yeah. We haven't been by Calvary. Gotta go by and, Calvary. And the thing with the depiction of of the scene where Jesus is put on the cross is we lose that so much, and so many people forget that part of the Easter story, of the resurrection story. Yeah. Yes, Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. It's finished. It's already done But he was on, on Sunday. that cross, wasn't but he? But Friday he is he what He was happens. on the cross, wasn't Friday he? Friday is when it happens. So we're so excited, too, as you talked about other generations, your daughter. To Lisa Flanagan. Wow. Baby. Wow, I she amazes me, oh and my I God. carried her, and uh, she is a preaching woman. That little that Delisa, I'm excited about her. You know, I'm, she's a new first lady. Yes. And, and one thing that I've been trying to, I I've been blessed to be able to mentor a lot of young women. But one thing that I've tried to instill in Delisa, just be Delisa. Yeah. You know, you know, everybody has their gifts and callings. Right. Just. Just be Delisa, and and God will use you where you're at, and that's that's Absolutely. that's major. I think another thing about um, raising daughters, as mm. you know, we have three daughters, <laughs> and one it's only son. Only son. <laughs> I still don't get that. And, and they all have their own personalities. Yes. That was the child that just gl was glued to her dad, and always mm. wanted to know about the word and mm. what you're gonna preach, dad. Wow. And who knew that? You know, that 30 years it. later, this girl will be standing here with me. It, it's it's mind-boggling. Absolutely amazing. Yep. And it's so encouraging, and I love that. We don't leave here just having a hallelujah, jumping over the right. chair, uh, emotional, because right. I'm tired of emotional mm. Christians mm. anyway. <laughs> Nothing changing their heart. Mm. That's the second We on the word fast. But, 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 right, right, right. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. I forgot to be fast. <laughs> anyway, what is so wonderful Every set, every since we started this, we always get a soul at the end of the service. Oh my gosh! Always I'm more than one. one. Yes, women come. So bring your unsaved right, girlfriend. Right. Bring your unsaved daughter. She will be able to identify with the Lisa. We have Kokisha Bailey, yes. who is. Oh uh, my God! That she I taking mean, Texas by storm. She is just phenomenal, and all she does as well. And we're excited to have her to join us again this year. And, of course, the baby sister. The baby the sister. The one and only. Dr. Dr. Tyron Tyron Jenkins. Jenkins. That girl is gifted with creativity. We don't know what, what she's she going to do. I can't hardly wait, right? I don't right? know. I you don't, don't know. Because remember the year she did Today? Mm -hmm. Today her show. Was, she was on the Today Show. Yeah, and, she was just, and, and she was she was broadcasting. And then uh, the last year she was here, she was the woman at the well, and it was the remix. And we had a DJ, and, and it was just phenomenal. So we don't know so what. So we don't know. The first year she was a teacher, she, and was she a had te the glasses, glasses on. Yeah. It's just amazing the creativity that God has given her. Absolutely. And so all of the creatives get an opportunity to know that in my creativity, God can use me Amen. and I can be used by God as Amen. well. Amen. And, and of course, Alexis Felder Dr. is going to bring the word and she's going to break it down. Break it all the way down. And you're going to know scripture. You're going to know how it pertains to your life. And you're going to know how to live that thing out. Absolutely. When you leave yeah. from her. Whatever, whatever, whatever what, your state you're in. Ever state Because she's going to deal in. with the sister girl on the street. Yes. To the doctor in the, in the, in the. In she the, keeps it real. She keeps it it absolutely and real. she keeps it real yeah and this year our first year for having dr dorinda clark wow well, the famous clark so excited so excited because she has a unique 
uh, ministry style okay. where she reaches you in your spirit man yeah. so she ministers and then she gives you the word and you're ready for it ready and for so it. she's going to bring her dynamic style of, of reaching us and, and ministering to us and i'm so excited about that and we already know you got us we are ready we have not forgotten greater we have not forgotten uh the year you came and just told us the blood yes. and 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 we just went that whole year whenever things <laughs> Things were happening we just looked at each other and said the blood <laughs> and and it carried us so, so these just, these messages yeah. are not one time one day messages they actually carry you absolutely the entire rest of the year absolutely. you cannot miss don't miss women it. at the cross and you know we what need you great? to be here we need your energy and we need you to be here to pray for us to pray for your sisters that are in the room to pray for God's glory to be in this place absolutely and we're praying for salvation and we're praying for deliverance, especially uh, women. We need this service. I know we'll be at the House of Hope, but guess what? It's free. Absolutely. Absolutely free. It is. Just come on and you don't have to dress up. We'll have on our Women at the Cross gear more than likely. <laughs> this is our T-shirt. This is our really cool hat. And you guys can get that. Uh, you can go to our website if you'd like to order your T-shirt and your, your cap. And you can join us on Good Friday, April the 19th, 12 noon, right here at the House of Hope. It won't be real unless you're in the room. Got to give a shout out to my brother, Pastor James T. Meeks. My roommate. Her brother. Yeah, but I am so excited that. <laughs> How many men? Oh, God. Men are here. You know. And this is an amazing thing as well. The husbands come out they and come support out. the they wives. They support their wives. And that's amazing to see all of these dynamic pastors in the room as well. So, men, you are certainly welcome. Thank you, sister, yeah. to be with us on Good Friday. Amen. Join us. We'd love to have you.